Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah. We continue reading from Imam al-Ghazali's The Jews of the Quran, Juwah al-Quran. And we uh, have covered just uh, a few verses of uh, Surah Al-Mu'mineen. Imam al-Ghazali chose 29 uh, verses. And uh, I have tried to um, reflect on the uh, story of creation and how uh, the scientific literature is misleading people about the uh, evolution. And uh, I began the uh, previous session by speaking about uh, the creation of the human being from clay. And this is verse 12 of Surah Al-Mu'mineen. But I have, uh, of course, brought to the picture uh, the verse Lima to be a day, though the context, as I said earlier, was about uh, Satan um, rejecting, refusing to uh, prostrate before uh, Adam when the angels were asked to do so. But here we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creating the human being, and uh, there is no, uh, um, there is no. Uh, Absolutely, there is no uh, possibility of uh, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not creating the human being. Indeed, uh, uh, in the best uh, possible uh, form, uh, fashion, uh, uh, function, uh, both outer and inner uh, dimensions, uh, the, uh, the intellectual uh, capacity, في أحسن تقويم in the best possible fashion and it's not a matter of uh, uh, evolution this is not uh, a fundamentalist reading this is not a literal uh, reading uh, that ignores science to the contrary I've tried to uh, shed light on uh, how the scientific literature which is practically sometimes the language itself if you read it it's not uh, scientific uh, like if if we had uh, still logical positivists who would look at the literature, they would reject they would reject these uh, uh, vague uh, uh, statements. And the uh, one might say, uh, "What what can I add today?" Uh, because I would like to uh, move forward. Except that uh, the in general, uh, the scientists today, and not all of them, of course. And by the way, anyone, anyone in Western, in Western academic circles, uh, biologists, for example, who subscribe to the story of uh, creation, the, the, those who have serious critique of uh, uh, of the theory of evolution, they will be excluded from funding, uh, from research funding. Um, sometimes even they might not be hired, or uh, so they face. The uh, uh, they face the wrath of the uh, evolutionary uh, lobby, if you uh, if you will, and in general the 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 pseudo scientific literature insists on one point two percent difference only uh, between um, the uh, ch the chimpanzees and the uh, human beings uh, in terms of the two. Um, uh, genomes, but this is really already. If you just uh, if you just think, simply think about the 1.2 uh, percent, this would be uh, 40 million uh, single base uh, pair substitutions. Uh, uh, but this is 1.2 percent. These 40 million uh, single base pair substitutions. This will be. Uh, Considering the part that is included in the study, they do not include the uh, the uh, part of the uh, uh, the human uh, genome that uh, uh, that is excluded from about one third, really, uh, from these comparative studies. And if you look at the uh, after the, uh, the 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 complete uh, sequencing of the uh, human genome. 
uh, there was, uh, of course, the chim uh, chimpanzees were uh, next. And the literature, when they, uh, uh, they uh, definitely they uh, do not know uh, the, uh, the function uh, of many of the, uh, um, of the uh, many parts of this uh, uh, chim genome. And they resort to uh, uh, hypo hypotheses of uh, uh, of mutations to explain the difference between the uh, chimpanzees and the uh, human beings. Why these mutations stop uh, taking place? Why we are not evolving beyond uh, the uh, uh, you know the the way we are uh, right now? Uh, uh, many things one can uh, talk about. Ultimately, um, it's the it is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala who created the human uh, beings, and in the uh, there is some details there in the uh, subsequent uh, verses. ثم جعلناهم نطفة في قرار مكين ثم خلقنا النطفة علاقة فخلقنا العلاقة مضغة فخلقنا المضغة عظاما فكسونا العظام لحما ثم أنشأناه خلقا آخر فتبارك الله أحسن الخالقين and then we spoke about the uh, that after uh, all this the creation coming into existence being born uh, for the origin of this, uh, of the, uh, uh, of the human beings is uh, Adam alayhi salam, and uh, we uh, we are simply born. Even even when we talk about a miraculous uh, birth, Jesus Christ was him being the uh, word of God to uh, uh, to Mary, Maryam alayhi salam. Uh, he is. Uh, uh, he is basically uh, uh, a human being, full human being, uh, except that uh, there was no male figure in Maryam's uh, Mary's story in the uh, Quran, and the Quran ref refers the reader to the story of Adam, meaning that the, if it's hard for you to believe that a human being could come to in, into existence without a father, Adam alayhi salam had neither father nor mother. So. It, it has to begin with uh, uh, at one point without evolution. And if you uh, if you look at the uh, the uh, human skulls that were found and they were given uh, pseudo scientific stories and the way they paint them, the way they draw them, uh, uh, always always looking like. Uh, apes rather than uh, the ancestors would be um, well, the claimed ancestors would look always like apes rather than uh, human beings. The narrative and social mean then shifts to the creation of the uh, uh, of uh, of heaven uh, and we talk about the uh, cosmos, talk about natural uh, 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 phenomenon. Verily, we have created above you seven ways, and we were not neglectful of our creation. We sent down water from the clouds according to uh, to measure, and we caused it to stay in the earth. We are certainly able to take it away with water. Uh, the the context is basically about being sent down from. Uh, the clouds we produce for you gardens of date palms and vineyards in which there are abundant fruits for you and of them you eat also uh, with water uh, we uh, produce the tree the olive uh, tree which springs forth from Mount Sinai containing with it oil and relish uh, for those who eat it in the cattle, there is indeed a lesson for you. We provide for you drink out of that which is in their bellies, milk, that is, and you dr uh, derive many other benefits from them. The flesh of some of them you eat on them and on ships uh, you are born, you travel basically. It's their, their skin, their, their, uh, 
the wool, the hair. Uh, then it goes back to uh, the narrative. Of course, this is, this is not immediately the uh, uh, after that. So uh, after verse 22, it goes into verse 78 and then back to the human being and the human senses. But let's talk about the the uh, uh, the olive tree and basically uh, uh, Tur Sina or Sina, Sina also uh, in a different uh, reading. Tanbutu, Tunbitu, that's a different reading also. وشجرتان تخرج من طور سينا تنبت بالدين وصبغ للآكلين. This, uh, uh, of course, in the translation, uh, Mount Sinai is written with capital letters. And uh, let me uh, say that Imam al-Sha'rawi, uh, rahimahullah, uh, one of the uh, most uh, uh, important uh, exegetes of the Quran in, in the uh, 20th century, uh, when he reflected on this particular uh, verse, he said uh, Tur is the Jebel mountain. So it could be any uh, mountain. And Sayna, he said, a nice, they talk about the etymology of both. Uh, Sayna is the uh, nice, uh, nice place. But he said this is in, uh, in the uh, Holy Land. And we do have, until today, um, I'm not saying this in the uh, absolute uh, term, this, but this is a, uh, at least a valid uh, interpretation. We do have in Jerusalem uh, a mountain which is called Jabal al uh, uh, and uh, it is also called Jabal al-Zaytun. So uh, Mount of Olives and the uh, the Mount Mount of the of Mount of the Mount, if you will, on the level of uh, etymology. But here we have Tur is mentioned. It's the same mountain and. Uh, it, it is still, it does still uh, have uh, uh, olive, uh, olive trees. And uh, if you are at the base of, uh, so if you, if you leave uh, the old city through uh, Lions, uh, Lions Gate, uh, it's a very short distance to the base of the uh, Mount of Olives. Literally within... Um, couple of minutes you could uh, reach the uh, the base and if you start ascending you will see uh, olive trees to your right and to your left this includes the uh, the land of the church of the uh, Gethsemane uh, that area and they also the uh, they have uh, their own uh, olive uh, groves and they do have uh, uh, to my knowledge from because uh, sometimes I have uh, a relationship with uh, some of the people there they have the also uh, olive oil made from their own uh, olive uh, olive trees and uh, this dohan, this uh, fat uh, uh, it's a, it's a dip it's a, uh, it's food it's uh, and it's very healthy uh, it's very healthy uh, food and this is really one of the uh, gifts this is um, this is the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is uh, uh, that he bestowed on us this uh, this uh, tree in as much as before that uh, all of the, all, the, all of that uh, that serve all that serve the uh, human being uh, to uh, to go through this life to fulfill his her uh, role as vice gerent and uh, be, uh, let me uh, move on to uh, the next uh, verse and then uh, say something about that which is before the olive tree and that which is after وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَنْعَامِ لَعِبْرَةً نُصْلِيكُمْ مِمَّا فِي بُطُونِهَا لَكُمْ فِيهَا مَنَافِعَ كَثِيرًا وَمِنْهَا تَأْكُلُونَ وَعَلَيْهَا عَلْفُوتِ تَحْمَلُونَ 
and this is about the uh, the the uh, the cattle uh, about the uh, animals that we uh, uh, that we uh, could drink their uh, uh, milk and the other benefits and also the uh, the uh, being able to eat from their uh, flesh. Now, um, there are extreme uh, diets. I say extreme. People, if, if something, if you have allergy to something, that's fine. If you don't want to eat something, that's fine. If you like something to eat, and it's halal, that's fine. So we have the uh, fruit trees, fawakih kathira, fruits. Uh, and then we have uh, milk and then we have uh, meat and you will find those who uh, on uh, on the internet uh, videos on youtube who speak about fruits being uh, poison they would like you to eat only uh, sardines through and through there are those who say that uh, milk is only appropriate for uh, babies and we're not supposed to drink the milk of uh, of animals and there are those who became vegans and not only vegetarians and no meat or those who eat meat only keto moderation simply moderation again if you if you are not raised re eating something you are free even if it's a personal choice but do not go into uh, extremes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala availed all this for us if you personally uh, do not feel like eating something that's fine don't make an ideology out of that then the narrative uh, moves to the uh, human uh, senses uh, he it is who has made for you ears, eyes, and hearts. Hearts here, we talk about the intellect, we talk about reason. Little gratitude you show. He it is who has multiplied you in the earth, and to him you will be gathered. He it is who gives life and causes death, and he controls the uh, alternation of night and day. Will you not then understand the uh, the cycles in nature uh, do uh, uh, help us understand uh, the life and death uh, cycle the, you know spring that's exactly birth of uh, in a in a sense out of out of a sudden things bloom they come to life flowers green um, fruits vegetables and uh, uh, summer things start to dry up uh, autumn if it's not an evergreen then you see uh, uh, barren trees where the uh, leaves fall we love in I know that in the uh, in many parts in the world in the north, like in, in in the northeast in the United States, you you would love to see the foliage, which is really the uh, the green leaves becoming yellow, orange, red. Uh, so a drive through uh, the the mountains is so beautiful, but that's really. And if you talk about the, the equivalent in uh, human being, and that's basically people who, in general, not only old people, but old people before death becoming yellow. And that yellowish is not because of jointless, it's not because of hepatitis B, it's because they have, uh, they, they, they have lost that vivid uh, look. Uh, and simply it's a sign of... Uh, uh, deterior, deterior, uh, that the health is uh, has deteriorated and uh, now regarding the senses 
today uh, we know very well that uh, children do babies feed the fetus at one point they do hear the uh, the noises in the uh, uh, in the in the mother's belly in the intestines so the whether it's the heartbeat and so um, it might explain uh, why babes uh, they feel comfortable being uh, hugged and uh, because they could still listen to the uh, heartbeat of the of their mother uh, but they do hear seeing subhanallah so it's basically sama wal absar you will never find uh, al basar before sama in the quran and this is really uh, a sign in itself uh, an ayah uh, because uh, babies need about three months uh, to see uh, to start basically recognizing uh, faces uh, seeing uh, details at a close uh, at a close distance really subhanallah this is really part of it and then al afida the intellect the intellect uh, they will start processing things but not really uh, they cannot really discern they cannot uh, certain abstract concepts uh, so this is really the order of things and the uh, senses do supply the uh, intellect with uh, information to uh, process we continue reading rather they that is those who believe in a superior deity but deny the future life in brackets rather they say like that which the former people said they said is it that when we are dead and have become dust and bones we shall surely be raised up again this is what we and our fathers have been promised before this is nothing but the fairy tales of ancients ask them to whom to whom do the earth and all that is in it belong if you really know they will soon say to god say to them will you not then be admonished ask them who is the lord of the seven heavens and the lord of the great throne they will soon say these belong to god say to them will you not then observe your duty to him ask them in whose hand is the dominion over everything and who grants protection but against whom no protection is available if you really know they will soon say all this belongs to god say to them how are you then bewitched rather we have brought them the truth and they rejected god has not taken to himself any child nor is there any god along with him in that case each god would have walked away with with that which he had created and some of them would surely have dominated over others glory be to god above all that which they describe of course of him he is the knower of the unseen and the seen may he be exalted above that which they associate with him it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, who created us and we have spent uh, some time describing the uh, the complex uh, nature of the human being the human genome is amazing and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you think about this whole universe everything has a code it could be the uh, uh, in uh, in matter we, we it could be the uh, the uh, the atoms uh, uh, the atomic weight uh, in the living beings is basically the uh, the genome whether it's the human genome for us or basically a genome of whatever uh, it could be uh, a single uh, bacteria do have uh, the bacteria do, uh, the bacteria does have a genome also uh, so everything in the universe has a has a code and everything is in a everything is uh, recorded in the preserved tablet your your behavior is known your seek your own sequence not as a species but as 
uh, not only your DNA, but your uh, RNA and everything, every detail, even the things that the uh, scientists sometimes dismiss and as non-essential uh, or uh, marginalized and everything is coded and everything is recorded, everything is known, the seen and the unseen, what we know and what we do not know, all, uh, whatever we encompass uh, of the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permitted. I'm not talking about fairy tales and uh, uh, crime uh, uh, stories or horror movies. I'm talking about uh, science in the sense things as they are. Even that much ultimately is really uh, our knowledge. Cumulative knowledge as human beings will always be partial uh, compared to the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all these signs in the universe and in ourselves should point to the, uh, in the direction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, should help people recognize the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why the very last uh, verses that Imam Ghazali uh, chose, This this life is not in vain. It's not really. Uh, did you imagine that we had created you for nothing and that you would not be brought back to us? Then high exalted be God, the self-subsisting and all-sustaining King. There is no God but He, the Lord of the noble throne. He who calls upon other God, than God, than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, along with him, along with God, for which he has no proof, shall render an account of it to his Lord. Surely the disbelievers will not be successful. Pray, my Lord, forgive and have mercy, for you are the best of those who are merciful. Rabbil Alameen. So, inshallah, uh, in the next session, we will uh, start reading from uh, Surah An Nur, uh, nine verses to be more specific. Until then, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Ashhadu Allah, Ilaha Illallah, Assalamu Alaikum, Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.